In this video, we're going to be going over the top five penny stocks of 2021 that I covered almost one year ago. We're going to look at the performance of those five penny stocks. These were in the uranium sector. It is what I normally cover on this channel. I only cover stocks that I do my due diligence on. It was a very impressive year for these stocks, and we're going to look back on those, and I'm going to tell you what I think they could do in 2022, but please hit that like and subscribe button below first. Uh, this channel gets a lot of viewers sometimes that don't subscribe so please go ahead and subscribe you know it's free now we're gonna jump right into this so the first thing was when I first started covering these stocks I didn't cover them on YouTube in the beginning so I covered these stocks first via Twitter and some other social media platforms back March 2020 but when I started posting YouTube videos, I started covering them about September and that's when I started a Discord and I started to interact with people about these stocks more. And I did a top five video and that's what this one is. And it was all five of these were uranium stocks and it was Denison, Deep Yellow, Western Uranium, Encore Energy, and Peninsula Energy. I'm gonna show you exactly what these did, but as you can see, this was posted in January 6th that was uranium, it was about $30 back then. But I have a chart here for you, all of you. And this is pretty interesting because I'm gonna show you exactly from the beginning to the end how well these stocks have done. You know, a lot of YouTubers out there just put stocks randomly, they'll cover everything. But I do my due diligence. You know, I believe uranium is in a bull market. And we saw a 50% run just from the beginning when I posted this video in uranium. And this is what these five stocks did. If you see the chart here, the performance of the chart, this is what they have done since pretty much uh, the video started. And you notice we, we uh, had a big pullback, okay? So for the whole year, from the beginning of the video, we are up right here, this column, column F, 76% in deep yellow, 102 in Encore, 60% in Peninsula, 122 in Denison, and 101 in Western Uranium. Now, the thing about this is, is that's today. We saw a quite a big pullback in uranium recently. Now, if you were to invest in those when I did the video and you got out with the high, the percentages go up a lot higher. And you saw our high was not too long ago, a couple months ago, and all of these stocks, they're up a lot higher. So they could really quickly go back to these areas. And I'll, I'll touch on that, why kind of they, you know, the overall uranium market went down. But in this, you know, specific, you know, outlook, you can see that they're still up a lot. Now, when I covered these in my Discord, this was back in September of 2020. And that's when I started the Discord. I started uh, a portfolio and these stocks were included in that in the beginning. Uh, now, I don't, don't necessarily own the full percentage in these stocks anymore, but I am very bullish uranium. Uh, and I am still in deep yellow, as you know, last video I did on them. Now, the gains since Discord are even higher uh, as of today, and, and then if you had got out at the peak, which I'd say the peak just for the year was a couple months ago, they are well over 400 to even 500% in some of these. And uh, then if you got in at the bottom, this is the last column here, which was when I first started covering these via Twitter and you know stock twits, the percentages go up a thousand percent to even three thousand percent with Encore when I first bought it to the peak. Okay, so this is the peak, you know, if you got in, out at the peak. Now, like I said, I didn't get out at the peak in a lot of these. Uh, I am still investing in some of these. And I really do see uranium in 2022 doing even bigger moves. I think we'll beat this 52 week high that we have here. As you can see, the 52 week high. We are uh, quite a ways away. So the the gains, especially from the beginning of the year, they've dwindled some, but that's still a very impressive, you know, run in these stocks, uh, you know. And uh, I think in 2022, we'll cover really quickly, briefly, these five stocks again. And, you know, I'll give a little bit of my opinion. This is not financial advice. Uh, this is just my opinion. So the first thing is, the one that I really, you know, you've seen on this channel I've covered recently was Deep Yellow. So they're an explorer slash developer that will likely get in production in the next 36 months as the price of uranium goes up. And they're looking to be a tier one uranium producer. 
They are in Namibia. This is one of the best locations in the world. And as we get to this part of the bull market, I believe we just hit this sell-off phase, the bull market for uranium. My, you know, the things that I invest in, what I think is the best for uranium stocks is those with great management and those in great jurisdictions. And I would consider, you know, Namibia one of the better jurisdictions for uranium, as well as, you know, they, they're likely to get into production very fast compared to some of the other stocks out there. The management team as well, they've got in the production before with Paladin. It's literally the Paladin team, as you know. So I, I still am very bullish in Deep Yellow. And 2022, I think as the uranium price rises, it's going to catch up a lot more. It's got a lot of room to catch up, uh, you know, in the next year. And I really do like Deep Yellow still. Encore Energy is another one. Uh, this one had ran a lot. It was one of the biggest movers in the uranium market because it really, it saw such a drop. And, um, you know, the, the company, they, uh, they've they got a lot of assets in the U.S. So Explorer Developer looked to be a, you know, a producer. Um, this ISR, you know, was really what they're looking to produce uh, in uranium inset recovery. And, uh, you know, they've got some, you know, quite a spread in their jurisdictions. Uh, the best one, I think, obviously, is there in Wyoming. It's probably one of the safer ones. They do have, you know, uranium. Uh, and, you know, it's not like it's it's a explorer that's out there. It's explorer developer, but it's not like an explorer. It's less risk, I would say. And the stock, you know, has, has done really well. Uh, we'll see how 2022 plays out for the stock. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really crazy because if you look back at all of these, you know, they, they were just so undervalued. Western uranium was another one. Now, Western pulled back a lot this year. And, you know, the company, it was very, it's a skeleton crew, basically. Uh, George, he's, uh, he was like the founder of Energy Fuels. And, you know, they didn't have very many people working this year, you know, with the company and they're looking to, you know, raise money and that, you know, the, the stock had suffered, you know, there was some warrant, uh, you know, restructuring out there and, um, it's still, I think a, a very good stock. It's just, it had such a big pullback and it was also included in the ETFs and, uh, you know, because it's such a low float because Western uranium is such a low float, it's, you know, a lot less likely to, uh, you know, when, when the selling happens to keep those gains like we saw. So, you know, their, their float is a lot smaller, uh, you know, 38 million, uh, the market cap, you know, still small, very small, you know, 56 million. Uh, and, and if, as you see on this chart here that I keep here, a lot of them are still in the range of being, in my opinion, a good float slash market cap where there's room to grow. Now, you know, Western Uranium, they have Uranium and Vanadium, you know, good management as well, uh, for the most part, and the management has skin in the game as well. So, you know, this stock, you know, with the low float, I think it's going to, you know, do well. But, you know, if you look at the big pullback uh, and you have it in the, the ETFs, if they're selling, it's going to, you know, it's going to be a while before I think this stock gets back to those gains. But if we see Uranium go up, it's probably just going to gap back up. The next one is Peninsula Energy. I've talked with, you know, the CEO, Wayne Healy. Uh, he's, the management there is great as well. Uh, they're looking to do this, this ISR, the low pH ISR. They're also in Wyoming here in the U.S. And, uh, you know, you can see their Lance project over here. This one, they're, they're cash flow positive. They've got, you know, they've got cash. And this company, they do have contracts already with tier one producers, which is pretty big. If you're looking at all the uranium stocks out there, uh, you know, not a lot of them have, you know, contracts and have, you know, this door open with producers. Now, they did buy some spot uranium as well. So this company, I think, has room to grow. I think they need to open up. I think they need to uh, open up possibly their jurisdictions, maybe buy something else. They actually had a mine that they had bought there in Africa during the bear market. And, you know, they were looking to get that up. But, you know, this stock had a run during right before Fukushima. And it's, you know, pretty much had a, a really long, you know, 10 years 10 year bear market for this stock, but it, it survived, you know, the new management in the last few years, they're looking to get into production. I think this one could uh, do really well. And I still am very bullish on the stock as well. And uh, I really like what, 
the upside is, but I really do hope that they can get other assets and really grow uh, shareholder value there. And I think uh, I think the stock has a lot of room to grow. And it's a, a lot safer than some of the explorers out there. You know, if you're comparing them market cap wise to some of the explorers that are a lot even bigger, I think this one's a lot safer long term, especially when uranium price goes up. Uh, and then the next one, we've talked about a lot on the channel, Denison, Denison Mines. Now, Denison has now a lot more assets than they did when we covered this, okay? They, uh, they got 50% of that JCU deal, as you know. And this stock has also had a lot of volume since I did that video. They had actually, uh, you know, the record back in February for the overall market traded that day in, in Denison for two, two to three days. And it's really impressive. So I think that when, when we really do hit that media phase in the uranium bull market, we'll start to see a lot of investors run to stocks like this that do trade, you know, with all the brokers, you can pretty much trade this. You could trade it from overseas a lot easier. You know, it's on the big boards. So, you know, you see these stocks, these uranium stocks likely to get the first investors coming in and brand new investors. So that was one of the reasons, uh, you know, I really did uh, like the fact that this company uh, was, you know, in the Athabasca Basin. Uh, in the beginning when I did the video, you know, but I did even in that video, uh, you know, I've, I've covered with Denison. I did say that there is a risk with the tribes. I've said that before. I've covered this stock many times and I've said that that is one of the risks that you have. And that is one reason that, you know, a lot of these have actually retraced a lot. And uh, it was because of a lot of the First Nation pushback. Uh, you know, I think that stocks like this probably will not have real issues long term for the most part you know they've got a lot of assets a lot of it, a lot of these assets are obviously are near infrastructure so they won't need to go over here uh where the first nations are uh you know the cdrn you know the this area which is the southwest where they're going to need to build new infrastructure uh you know that's one one thing and then also their isr stuff i think it's going to be you know pretty interesting to see where that you know where that goes so uh i do still think that this stock has you know good upside we saw it already move over two dollars uh i really do think that as the new like i said the new year comes and we start to see uranium price go up which we i really believe we will we'll probably see stocks like this run uh a lot higher than their their 52 week high two dollars so as you can see here, these stocks, they've done really big moves since the channel, since I covered them, not even a year ago, you know, 11 months and five days, four or five days since I covered this and they've done well. So on this channel, as you know, I cover uranium stocks. I cover stocks. Uh, I'm a long-term investor for the most part. I do take swing trades sometimes, especially with this market. Uh, but as you can see, you know, I just really wanted to show you you all these top five stocks. When I put that out there, I do mean it. I do due diligence on these. And uh, it's pretty exciting to see the run already. And I really think we're just getting started. You know, if you bought at the bottom, you know, almost 3,000% there in Encore from the to the peak uh, a couple months ago. And then just, you know, since I was covering it on the YouTube video or Discord, you can see, you know, 400%, 500% plus uh, you know, if, if you got out at the peak, but I believe it's going to overshoot the peak. So these likely, you know, just from people getting in since we started the discord and started covering it could be thousands and thousands of percent. So we'll see, we'll see how uranium does, you know, if uranium goes up, you know, right now it's, it's at 40, you know, around $45, you know, if we break, you know, 80, $90, $100, I think these uranium stocks all uranium stocks pretty much are going to do massive runs. As you know, on this channel, we're very bullish, like I said, uranium. But if you guys like these videos, if you want me to cover five more that I think in 2022, penny stocks, especially uranium ones, that will do big runs, that's gonna be the next video. Hit the like and give me a comment below. Did you get in? Did you, how long have you been subscribed to my channel? And if you watch my channel, please subscribe. You know, it's, uh, it's free. So anyways, hope you guys like these videos. I'll continue to make them if you do. And until next time.